Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Y'all about Shimei Ashai, about Shimei Kalkadash, Baraka Dom. Call all y'all about Shimei Ashai. Yeah, double honest high apostles who are elders who will well. Blessed salutation, you brothers out there teaching and during true sincerity. Another hearty blessed salutation to the numerable multitude and we that amongst tears that endure the truth sincerity. Yeah, this is a, um, a video because I was watching um, the Joe Rogan situation i didn't understand it um didn't choose to get into it until i seen it this morning and uh just making making a connection with it you know um yeah so it's less than worthy because i believe from my my speculations it's my perception that is all behind a jump shot and they're using jake because the first red flag was uh, Joe Rogan using uh, the the word nigga. <laughs> I get to say it, you know. I'm one, I guess. But uh, yeah, Joe Rogan using the N word in his podcast, and I was like, okay, all right, you know, um, here Edomite, he's gonna do what he do. What's the difference between him? and all the other Edomites that have said it and nothing happened. Why is this uh, uproar? And why is the uproar ironically happening on black history? I said, that's a little bit too tacky for niggas. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't, niggas, niggas gonna get you right. They gonna, they gonna get you on no black history month. Only an Edomite would do that. That's my perception, you know, cause it's not like it's recent this is a this is a, a compilation of old videos. So you mean to tell me you got time? You know, I'm I'm about to line this up on this day. No. What I think is that's Esau lining it up on this day to arouse niggas. They don't really care. They just know just like the Black Lives Matter and the LGBTQ getting together, they know that if you can get Jake, Jacob rise a door uproar and, and create the cancel culture, because at the end of the day, you can't touch Joe Rogan with the position he has, how you want to. You can't cancel him, that's too much money. You Only way you can censor him is through this tactic of cancel culture where India Iries, Neil Youngs. It started off with Neil Youngs and all them canceling their Spotify. Okay, now Neil Young them canceled for a different reason, and that's why I says I believe it's, it's behind the jump shot because uh, Neil Young canceled behind the jump shot misinformation and. Now they're putting out this compilation of NDIRE, I mean, in, of, of Joe Rogan and N word, not NDIRE wants to get into it. Now all these people want to pull their content from Spotify. And this shows you that these people are either easily manipulated or they're puppets. You know, because overall, I'm not saying like Joe Rogan's a superhero or nothing like that, but he's, he's in a space as to where his words, you don't have to censor his words that much. He's a, 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 a what's your boy name? Howard Stern, in the in that Howard Stern esque of type of field, where he can bring on some belligerent content, egregious content, some hardcore stuff, and and the people who are gonna listen to it is gonna listen to it. The people who don't want to listen to it gonna don't want will not listen to it. Okay, so. With that being said, I had to put two and two together. Ultimately, they want to censor and and shut him up. And that's the only avenue they can do it subtly without saying, "Hey, you can't you can't talk about that," because they know he's gonna he's gonna say, you know, put the middle finger up, or say you don't have the right to tell me what I can or cannot say or have an opinion on, you know, and. Uh, and he's not gonna lose any followers. There's no cancel culture that would get behind him. 
especially when you start talking about taking certain uh, 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 medications to handle the jump shot or to handle uh, uh, the medical pandemic, you know? And uh, these people don't like that. So my question is, so now you got the hybrid of the N-word, but now you're creating a cancel culture behind a medical concern. You know what I'm saying? You can tell this is an agenda. You know what I'm saying? When has something like that is worth a cancer culture? You know? Somebody say, hey, you should eat healthier instead of taking insulin. And then, oh, you're against insulin. I'm canceling you. You know? You should eat better. You should do this instead of getting chemo if you got cancer oh I'm cutting you off this guy's putting out misinformation when it has when has it been this overhaul or this rally for the truth troops picks pickaxes and torches behind this you know and it shows that people are sheep and they just follow they just follow the leader just follow the leader create this uh this this movement and people just follow and they follow and follow and follow and follow and it comes back to the consensus gentium if everybody says it then it must be true okay and they use these celebrities and and, and when because it's ironic i'm gonna say this little side note about, about the celebrities when a celebrity says something that th that the media or the the big wigs don't like shut up and dribble becomes the the slogan but when it comes time to vote p diddy all in your face dancing uh, come vote for me and sh stuff like that you know commercials all across the shirt so they know these these athletes and these uh, celebrities have uh some type of um influence over the general population because people will die behind these celebrities. They, they they scream, they yell. So if they say, hey, don't take it or do take it, then it has a powerful impact. And especially somebody like Joe Rogan that has a, 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 a large following. The guys in uh, comedy, MMA, and podcasts, you know? So he has a really large following, really mixed following, at that so yeah man um as the scriptures say that you know lay in the dust oh, um lift that lift up thy skirt oh daughter of babylon sit in the dust you know your your tricks are being revealed you know via through the unicorn because it's you know it's ironic they're censoring everything and now it's a con it's a, it's not a concern like oh my god but it's a concern it raises the eyebrow to say now you're like you're attacking people who don't want to get it not like in a way of you can't get a job you can't do this you can't do that now it's in the in area of pickaxe and torches get rid of this person they don't deserve if you if you object to to this jump shot then you don't deserve to be you don't deserve to have a career you know and they've been doing it to these big you know these NFL players and stuff like that. They could say, oh, you're a detriment to the team, you know, uh, and things like that. But, um, hey, and I'm going to say this to you Israelites that are out here doing that, man. The Lord the Lord has has something special for you uh, sellout niggas, man, uh, that, that, uh, uh, that went in the way of Cain, man, you know, uh, due to spirit. You know what I'm saying? That you're, you're of your father, the devil, and the works of him you would do. He was a, mur he was a liar and murderer from the beginning, you know? So, and abode not in the truth. And, and a lot of our people consent to that, especially in a, a, a it's, it's ironic that we're, we're in a demographic of America, you know, AKA Babylon, the land of the free, the home of the brave, right? the separation of church and state right so if you even are, are a, a mayor, all that you're doing all that then a person has a right to their opinion now do we believe that 
you got a right to your opinion within the scriptures, within the laws. But you true blue Americans that are with the with this jab, you're going communist <laughs> or communistic on people. You know what I'm saying? To the point that you're willing to let people starve, let people do this, do that, do that. But you are in support of America. You're in support of Babylon. You know what I'm saying? You were the red, white, and blue, down and true. The Lord got something special for you niggas, man. Because you're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. You're a walking hypocrite outside and inside of the scriptures. You don't believe in human rights. You don't believe in human health. You don't believe in none of that. You just believe in your self-preservation. Whether you're doing it for money or you actually believe that that's, uh, that spectacular fluid that they're put, pumping into you is going to is gonna save you. You know what I'm saying? And so you want to go outside and go to Pizza Hut again. You want to go to the roller rink again. You want to dance at the clubs again. Dance, dance the night away. You want to you wanna go to the football games without your mask on so you're willing to destroy every piece of anything to get there you're willing to demonize you're willing to do any you will you will claw and scratch like you do on black friday to get what you want and the lord has something special for you niggas the lord is sifting not only the house of israel but he's sifting the world it says uh, uh, uh the and um, Isaiah believed the 13th chapter that the people shall turn to one another, you know, but this is going to be in more harsh times. But even in this time, people are, are, are choosing sides and there's not a side of sometimes it's race, but a lot of it's being based off opinion. Esau's causing a divide. All right. He puts the he puts the spectacular fluid in the middle and people choose a side. I'm not getting it. I'm getting it. And then they put something. A, 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 a propaganda to say, hey, you should hate them. And then the other side, hey, you should hate them. And now everybody barking at each other. No logical reason as to why you should hate somebody. If you get the spectacular fluid, you know what I'm saying? What's it to you? You're good. What well, you worry about anybody for? You know? that's It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Many scenarios, at the end of the day, if it's supposed to stop you from getting... Where the, they they progressed they've progressed it because it used to supposed to stop you now it's supposed to like help you recover better you know what well, I don't I don't get it I don't get it you know what I'm saying uh, but at the end of the day people have are are so gun ho behind this because really a lot of their personal lives are being taken away they don't care about life period they don't care about what are the side effects of nothing? They don't care about none of that. They just want to watch another Chris Brown concert. They need that. They need that in their lives. They need to go out and, 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 and uh, you know, check please. They miss those days. You know, these the fat, you know, you know it, may, it may, may be healthy people too. You know, at the end of the day, they miss the uh, so-called socializing life, man. I can't take my selfies no more. I can't take selfies on my plates anymore and all that. I can't go here and there because people can't live with themselves. So they live through other things such as events. They can't look themselves in the mirror and have nothing to show for it and just look at themselves. No makeup, no nothing. No hairline, no nothing. They can't look at themselves. All right. And that's that's all the results to but i just wanted to share that man with that that joe rogan situation i think it's very interesting that they they using jake and and, and head leading that that uh uh, uh in the ire i'm gonna reserve my opinions but you know they headlong headlining her to uh start a movement using the n-word i'm not i'm not defending the dude but Eden might say say that all the time on TV. They say that all the time on podcasts, all over. So what's it to Joe Rogan? Same way 
than they, they do any other celebrity. And it's tacky. On Black History Month, ain't no nigga gonna do that on no Black History Month. They would've did it right on the spot. Jake ain't no strategic nigga like that. Like, I'm gonna do it on Black History Month. Really ignited. That's cheesy, man. That ain't got no sauce to it. You gotta do better, Esau. Hey, I, I, um... Yeah, I applaud brothers to you know just be be mindful. We uh, as as the end that second Ezra is nine and nine and one. You know what I'm saying? So like, let me get some precepts out, man. Let's end it on. Let's end it with the gospel. You know, because Esau think he's slick. You know, uh, uh, Esau think he uh, he got us under control via through his his sorcery and his witchcraft, man. And as the scripture said, there's no enchantment against Jacob. So the elect ain't going to fall for that, that foolery, man. Um, Second Ezra chapter nine, verse one, it says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt uh, thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest, uh, the highest will begin to visit the world, which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou, uh, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like, um, for like as all is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the time of the highest have plain works, plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be clear as day. It's going to be clear as day. It's all propaganda. All of it's propaganda. Freedom of speech, but you can't put out misinformation. You know what I'm saying? You can't. This is the only thing I've ever seen to be censored for misinformation. There's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of things that they show to kids and children that in cartoons, I'm talking about the little grown-ups that be dressing in sonic suits and be doing shit, putting ketchup in soap jars and, and, and all kind of stuff. You know, what happened to freedom of speech? Now it's misinformation, right? I'm not, I'm again, I'm not a supporter of Babylon, but this is their this is their standard. This is what they this is what makes them. But then, then they like to point at somebody and say, oh, you're a communist. This is a communist place right now. It's, 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 it's communist. It's communism. And they're using the uh, uh, the population, the public, to execute it. Because they're full of McDonald's and pre-workout. <laughs> this thing is full of McDonald's and pre-workout, man. Calcified up. Pineal gland can you can't even think right. Waking up three or four o'clock in the morning sweating and shit, man. You know? So yeah, yeah, they're easy. They're easy pickings. It's easy to get them to do what you want. You know? They have no ability to think. You took you took the Lord away from, from Jake, got them believing in in in, in uh Yeshua, you know? <laughs> you got them believing in Caesar Borgia, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 you got them believing in everything bes but besides your how about Shem Yahushai? You know, and uh, Esau did a, a damn good job, man. As as, as it says, yell your father the devil. Hey, the devil came not but to steal, you know, steal, kill, and destroy, man, to deceive the world, you know. And he's doing a damn good job, man, you know. So, yeah, we can go on and on, but I just wanted to share that, man, uh, 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 of a. Uh, thought process that I was having while I was watching that this morning and um you know we have to we have to us as men of the Lord we uh, 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 um it says a uh, fool believe every word in Proverbs but a, 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 a prudent man look at well till it's going man you know and we got to look at things with a spiritual eye watchful eye like why on this day why at this time who would say such a thing what's your agenda what's your point you know what I'm saying? You got to put two and two together instead of just going with the flow, especially Esau's flow. Now, you can go with the Lord's flow. That's totally fine because the Lord's true, he's honest, and he's pure. So it's it's always best to go with his flow because some things you may not understand, and you just got to roll with them. Like I said, we're not under the same 
laws of America, the free home of the brave. We're under the, the Holy Spirit, following the Holy Spirit, supping with the Lord. This is not a, 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 a democracy within the truth. The Holy Spirit is not a democracy. All right, it's a it's a it's the Lord's will or no it's the Lord's way or no way, the Lord's will or no will, at the end of the day, so it's different with us. But with you guys out there that don't believe in the, in the in the scriptures, you don't believe in the Most High and the Son, you have your own standards. You a freelancer. Why are you going against your culture? That's 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 mighty suspect to me. Why is your heads? going against their own culture a house divided against itself shall not stand and that's very true they know it too because they're ultimately trying to to try to break down this house strategic they're trying to do a a, a a strategic construction you know what i'm saying to where the building falls nice and straight straight down they're trying to renovate and, and, and fix this place back up to the new world order getting these concentration camps like the brother was showing videos in, in, in Walmart, how they can move them shelves in in, in less than in less than uh, in, in hours. You know what I'm saying? Get the whole staff and crank them shelves up and, and get everything cleared out in hours. So it's nothing for them to set up a concentration camp, man. Shutting, uh, 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 creating a system that's shutting down mom and pop stores, stopping people's ability to uh, 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 financially support themselves so you could be dependent on the government, you know, taking away your liberties. You know, if, if you if the end ain't manifesting for you, where where are you gonna go from here? Like 10 years from now, where where are you gonna be? Like, Jake don't, Jake don't think, people don't think. Where are you gonna be 10 years from now? And I'm not like saying it's gonna be 10 years. I brought this, we got here. We get out here today, man. Well, I brought you this is our last Passover coming up, man. But I'm saying hypothetically, the the direction we're going, where are we headed culturally? You know what I'm saying? You're not going anywhere, man. You're gonna have to be eating plastic fruit. You probably could be eating your, your nutrients in a bag at a point. Cause ain't nothing gonna be good, ain't nothing growing. The meat's contaminated. The water's contaminated. You know, you're pumping something into you, you're pumping that spectacular fluid into you. You're contaminated. None of you had kids yet. They had to have the juice, baby. You ain't, you know, you don't know a juice. Just let juice baby hit seven to eight. Y'all talking about people not getting immunization. Wait till they get. Ain't nothing going. You're gonna have to create a whole new immunization plan for them, them space monkeys. <laughs> oh man, these guys! Hey, it's a, it's a, hey, it's a it's a Barack, your woman, you know, to the Akin man. Hey, y'all, about shimmy, y'all, shout about shimmy, cock it, that's pocket thumb, shallow one.